before we do the post post game show. Um, <clears throat> so obviously this broke the internet. Grand Theft Auto Six. So what about it? What about all about? So let me tell you this. I think the graphics are great. I think that it's very next gen. It's very PlayStation 5.5. Coming on to PlayStation 6 graphics. Ultimately, I don't give a shit. You know what it reminds me of? Saints Row. When you looked at Saints Row and the first uh, the first game was kind of gangster driven, street gang driven. And then by the time we got to four, it's like everybody and anybody was a character was a character that had superpowers and shit. It, it went it went off the rails, right? And I guess, but I just didn't care anymore. Um, it's just that the, the protagonist, it's not about, I, I have no misogyny against the female character. If it was a Lori Petty tank girl or just some like, like some sociopathic female who would just like kill for fun, right? And it would have worked. Um, it just looks like a bunch of CW characters, actors, millennial actors, where the safety pins have been removed and they can all like do some nasty shit. That's what it looks like. So I guess it's not a matter of woke. It's just more like a uh, current day kind of uh, perspective. So when I look at Chinatown, I, I don't, I don't think, I think this is one of the three only Grand Theft Auto physical games released for Nintendo. This one, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. And everything else is download only, I think. And this one I like because of the... Uh, just the characterization here. Chinatown Wars. I also like Shakedown Hawaii. Retro City Rampage is more of an 8-bit NES tribute to all the NES games. But I like the characters in this one. I like the characters in Liberty City Stories. I like True Crime New York City. And maybe Streets of LA. And to fill out these first two minutes... Um, there you go. So in case you wanted to know what my opinion was, uh, there it is. <laughs> I have given you my opinion on GTA 6. Now fuck right off. I'm going to be doing something else. We're going to do the post-post game show for everyone else who was here. I just don't... I really don't care, honestly. I can live without GTA 6. I'm sure it could get on the Steam Deck, but I don't really care. It's It's not for me. I could play Shakedown Hawaii all day, all night. I like the character. Like, he just schemes and plots for every new venture and buys up. He plays Monopoly with all the properties, and then he just, like, plots a new scheme to cheat people out of their money. So what we're going to do is, um, I, oh, let me let me show you the, uh, what I've been able to do here. So let's, uh, let's see, let's see. Where are we at? Uh, I'll show you this really quick. So all this is uh, Balome. This is the third battle with Balome. And I had to figure out what to do. I had to use Mallow for sure. But Princess Peach had to mute him so that he couldn't do magical attacks. There's no way to stop him from doing cloning. There's no way. That's part of his gimmick. You cannot block it. And he's got the shield up. So you had to take out uh, Mallow with the, the, the fake Mallow with symbols. And the only way you get the symbols is to... Uh, to uh, go through the other obstacle courses in the castle in Bowser's Keep. I just didn't feel like doing it. So, yeah, this was a hard one. These uh, battles are brand new. And there's a new Jinx battle. So, you're going to the Frog Sage or Frog Fuchsius. You're going to Frog Fuchsius and Frog Fuchsius tells you uh, where to go next. So, there's some definitely some post-gameplay. I don't feel so good. Yeah, neither do I. So there's a little sparkly thing there. No more scratchy throat. That's what Vinny says when he's doing the toad voice. Ah! And then he just hops out of there. What a rare animation there. That's a rare animation. That's a brand new animation. So, let's see. Looks like someone spit up something up. What is this thing? What is that? We must find out. Okay, so... Uh, oh, and this one? Let me see. Because he told me he lost it around here. Well, that makes it yours, right? 
I mean, you're the real spell singer of the team. I guess. I would think that would be Gino, but... Grandpa, I'll take this stick you left behind and put it to good use. We'll make good things happen. Okay, let me just re re rearrange that. Okay. So now let's go back. We're just going to do this Punchinello. Shot to defeating Balome. We got a new stick for Mallow. And now we're going back to Punchinello. We're going to find out what this is all about. Okay. So Mario has... Let's see what regular attacks do. Okay. Shall we do... Let's do Star Rain. I thought he didn't have any bombs. He said he didn't have any bombs. I guess he lied. Um, one. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, Jinx will teach you how to do your defense, your defense timing techniques. It's getting much difficult. I'll tell you that. Thunderbolt. Pikachu Thunderbolt. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Uh, switch. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Oh, these are, these are some new battles now. I ain't playing around. Oh, what? Oh, shit. What do you think you're doing? You're supposed to attack those fools over there. What? Okay. Um, Gino. Let's do that one. I, I love that old sound that they make. Uh, let's do Shocker. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, fuckerific. <laughs> okay. Let's try just regular attacks. Nope. Okay, let's let's try something else. We got to we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Uh, aim for action commands. Press A when the timing is. Uh, yeah, I. I... Uh, we should have saved. But you know, I didn't know that I was supposed to like see Punchinello. Okay, let's see. This color's off. Okay, let's see. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, equip. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Give Mario the Jinx belt. Give, uh, give him the, the quartz charm. And then, who's in my group? Who's in there? Okay, let's just do it the way we did before. So I'm sure that you can see everything I'm doing. Okay. Okay. I'm much higher. I'm much higher level now. Defeating the famous Bowser and his minions will catapult me to unprecedented fame and fortune. Oh, this this is going to be difficult level. 
With this perfect shield and these incredible bombs can destroy anything. Okay. Let's see. Let's try Ultra Fireball. Mm. Let's see what bombs will work on a Bomb Master. Shocker. Doesn't work. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Uh, pick me up. Get a freebie. Ha <laughs> ha! Supposed to attack him, right? Uh... I prefer to use the pick-me-ups because you can get your full health back. Uh, let's see. Let's try the snowy. Oh, shit. Uh, group hug. Not doing so well with this. Oh, shit. There must be something he, he is not. Uh, let's get Bowser for a moment. Let's see, what do we have? Uh, about poison gas. Oh. Okay. Shocker. Let's try the Thought Peak. Not available. Everyone is even more chick now. You've really leveled up your game. That's all we're going to get. Uh, let's see what we have. What don't we have? Let's try... I'm going to get Gino. Let's see. What can he do? Let's try Gino Whirl. Nope. That doesn't work. Nope. Gino Flash. Shit. Uh, well, I'm going to have to figure this out. I think this is more like uh, get good portion of the game. Um, it's been a fun ride doing this, but I don't know. I think I'm going to have to figure this out on my own on another time. Maybe I'll record it and show it, but I think you're going to have to fight these enemies again and again and again just to see what happens. But, um, 
as far as my coverage of this is probably much that's pretty much it um when we get to thursday there'll be a a new game or a familiar game we'll see all right uh get your christmas shopping done early